Hmm. I think we've looked at everything we've needed to look at. Oh my gosh, are you for real right now? Jeez. For those new to my channel, I live in an apartment complex and like the complex is filled with many, many buildings and it's many, many buildings kind of like any other standard apartment complexes, but this guy just drove by with this radio blasting to the point where I could understand the words of the music in his car. So yeah, not terribly happy right now. Anyways, a chicken bone. Everyone was probably too shocked to clean up. There's a T-bone on one of the plates. Mine's the steak. Mm, T-bone steak. That would have been... That would have hit the spot. You just had a burger. Yeah, but I have a second stomach just for steaks. What? <laughs> oh, that girl cracks me up. <laughs> I think she's really funny. Uh, okay, um... It's a window. Glass is frosted, so I can't see inside. Interesting. Okay. Well, I guess we should just move back to the studio. Do you have anything to say? No, she does not. Move. Outside Studio One, that'd be great. Is there anything over here? That's kind of a weird looking statue. Studio mascot. I guess it's a monkey of some some kind. But what kind of monkey has a nose like that? He's holding a sign in his hand. Right to Studio 1, left to Studio 2. What's up with that thing? It looks kind of busted. Oh, the wind was pretty strong yesterday and the head broke off. Oh no. It took the tree down with it too. Okay. Kind of weird or whatever. Entrance to Studio One. This is where the studio where they found Jackhammer's body. Let's go in and check it out, Nick. I wonder if this card key we borrowed from the dressing room will work. It opened. All oh, right, we're in. She's way too happy for someone visiting a crime scene. You have anything to say to me right now? Because I'm not coming back. Not for a while, anyway. Uh, the studio inside. Studio one. All right. October sixteenth. Studio one. Oh my. That's right. He was in his costume and everything. Okay. I was like, what kind of tracing is that? Okay. What is it? Real quiet all of a sudden. Doesn't it give you the shivers, Nick? That white tape. It's so surreal. Well, the evil magistrate did die here, and the steel samurai killed him. The murder weapon was the samurai spear. Sounds pretty real to me. Okay, um... The outline where Jackhammer's body lay was the tape. His body was found still inside the evil magistrate costume. I guess that's why the head part looks like a helmet. I suspect his spear stabbing would leave at least a few blood seeds. Yeah, no kidding. His costume must have absorbed most of it. Um, okay. How about this camera? What do you have to say about this camera? It must cost a ton. Yeah, so don't touch it. Whoa! It's heavier than I thought. Hey, you! Don't touch that! Oh, I'm sorry, my partner is kind of, you know. You know? No, I don't know! Um, who are you? Who, me? I'm an assistant here. I help with props and stuff, moving them around, ordering new ones, etc. Her lawyers are representing Mr. Will Powers. Oh, you're WP's people. WP? Oh, Will Powers. WP. I get it. I don't envy you guys one bit, but do what you can for WP, okay? He never heard a fly. He has to be innocent. Oh, you like him. Don't worry, leave it to us. Girl talk. The day of the crime. Did you tell me anything about the day of the murder? Yes, I was in the studio the whole day. 
I was the only assistant on staff that day, you see. Only one assistant? Yes, well, the studios aren't doing so well right now. Yesterday was only rehearsal for our action sequences. I see. Neat! In the morning, we went through the action sequences in the employee area. WP and Hammer were there, along with everyone else. The employee area, that's where Powers' dressing room is, right? Yes, that's the place. That guy looks like Edgeworth, only muscular. After eating lunch there, Mr. Hammer went to Studio One. And I saw WP go into his dressing room. I didn't see either of them after that. Interesting. Did you know that Mr. Powers was sleeping in his room? No, I wouldn't go in there unless I had some urgent message for him. I mean, it it's his private... What kind of girl do you think I am? What? No, no, no. I'm sure you're a fine girl, I'm sorry. So much for getting confirmation of Powers' this alibi. What do we do, Nick? We haven't found anything. WP was the only one who came to the studio. And he has to be the killer. You even have a photograph. Hmm. Um, sorry. I know you're busy. Not really. Actually, there's been something bothering me. Aha! That's what I'm talking about. A clue! A lead! A clue! Well, I don't know about that, but that day, just afternoon, I sensed someone was here. You sensed. Yes, yeah, several times. Some other studio employees, maybe? No, I don't think so. The only thing we had scheduled was an action scene run-through. I was the only assistant here that day. I have a feeling it was someone from outside. It was a security lady! But wait, if someone had come in here, wouldn't that security lady have noticed them? Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry, I don't have any better information than that. No, thanks. That helps us a lot. Anything helps. Let's go put that security lady on the spot. Sensing some- but... I don't know. I kind of understand what she's saying, but in this kind of situation, you have to, like, literally see a person or hear noises. I think... I think doesn't cut it in a witness's testimony. No joke. What about that security lady? If someone else came into the studio, she must have seen them. No kidding. Okay, um... I'm gonna keep examining really quick, like... It's a ladder. Look, a ladder! That's a step ladder. So, what's the difference? You need to stop judging things based on narrow-minded cultural assumptions, Nick. Right, sorry, this girl's out there. That's why she's so stinking hilarious. What's this? Hey, look, that's the chair the director sits in. I've always wanted to sit in one of these. Hey, Nick, take a look at that. One of those black and white boards they clap at the start of the filming. And look, a megaphone, a real life megaphone. Ready, Nick? Action! This girl is more trouble than I thought. No, she's just, like you said, she's out there. Um, okay. Hmm. I guess... Uh, nope. Here we go. Let's just move back out there. Do you have anything else to say? No, you do not. Okay, let's do this thing. The main gate. <clears throat> Alright, lady. You lying to me. You didn't tell me something important. What? You're still here? Really? You look as though you've seen a ghost. Lady? What? I saw that suspicious look on your face. I wanted to ask you again about yesterday. You came here at 1 p.m., correct? And the estimated time of Hammer's death was 2.30. Are you sure that Powers was the only one to go through here between those times? Sure as can be. 
We have a witness who thinks there was someone from outside here that day. What? Are you absolutely sure you were watching the whole time? Ma'am? Who was it? Who told you that? Who dares question me? <laughs> Alright, you better tell quick and tell me quick, you spiky haired cretin. Or no, is it cretin? I think it's cretin. The scene from Monster Inc. is going through my head. Anyways, someone's been complaining about the work I do, eh? Um, we were just talking to the assistant in Studio One. Her! She's not even a full-time employee! All the youngins are like that nowadays. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. And she left. Well, Nick, this is our chance to do what we can without her looking over our shoulders. It's a good plan. What are you talking about? Wait. Let's go. Aha! Maybe we can see that photo of powers with this computer. Yeah, maybe. Should I try the computer? Yes! Okay, let's give it a try. You know how to work these things, Nick. Looks like I have to enter a few numbers. Let's see. First, I need the date of the murder. Looks like the camera turned on at 1 p.m. that day. That was when the security lady arrived at the guard station. Please enter the number of the security camera. I think it was this. There, enter. Nothing happened. Huh? Maybe I got the number wrong. <sighs> no! I'll keep doing this over and over and over again until I get it right. Yes, try it. Uh, how to work these things. Let's see. First, we need the date of the murder. Blah, 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 blah. So, I think it was 307 then. There, entered. Hey, it printed out the data for that day. Let's see what we got. It doesn't even prove that was him. That's just a person in costume. Huh? How is this a picture of Will Powers? Well, he is the one who always wears that suit. I guess that's why the security lady thought it was him. Well, she assumed things. Old bag. Anyways. I don't imagine the detective was very happy with his photo as evidence. Hmm? Something's printed on the back. Huh? October 15th, 2 p.m. Photo number two. What does that mean? There's more photo data from that day. Nope, that's the only one in the computer. Hey, hey, Nick! Can't we use this photo as evidence for this trial? Yeah. We'll put that security lady in her place with this. Right. We'll put her in her place. Hey, that's what you said! Anyway, let's show her this photo and see what she says. Wait, let's not. Why not? It's never a good idea to reveal your hand to the enemy too soon. Nick, you're craftier than I gave you credit for. Why, you could be the next evil magistrate. Hey, why do I have to be the villain? Relax, it was just a joke. So, are we done for today? I think this photo is what we needed for the trial. Still, it better, it'd be better if we had some idea who the real killer was. Maybe it really is that security lady. I don't think so. Because that man seems broader. And Old Bag was... Oh my gosh, Old Bag. Old Bag was skinnier. Her arms are way skinnier, too. I don't know. It's going to be interesting, that's for sure. But we'll continue this in the next episode. Thanks, everybody, for watching.